All right, y'all, first video of the night. We got a long list of videos because I've been lazy all day long. Um, and yesterday, too, and the day before, you know. I'm trying to get these videos out a little bit quicker, but I've just been so uh, tired. Um, but yeah, um, first bit of news here, we've got a new a trio of we got some indoor football news um first up sioux fall storm they got a brand new color scheme looks like camp bay storm down from the afl um, blue and gold but no uh, it's new ownership as well um a trio of couples apparently own the team now which is great um sioux falls can continue their going to be here for their 20th season in the IFL. Um, also, something that was interesting, um, man, oh man, let me tell you, um, there's a new IFL commissioner, um, Tyron, um, I forget, I, I think that's his whole name, I don't, I don't remember this, hold up, you'll have to give me a moment, um, oh, 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 oh. Oh, hold up. Let me see. Wow, it, it is Todd Tyron. Todd Tyron is now the owner. Or, or not the owner, but he's the new commissioner of the Indoor Football League. So that's another bit of news coming out from um, there. Uh, meanwhile, at the CIF-NAL partnership, we've got a seventh team for um, the CIF side of things. Uh, really... It's still kind of confusing, you know, right now. Um, actually, this isn't even um, this isn't even split in half. Um, NAL still has five teams, and now this is the CIF's seventh team. They're down in Odessa, um, West Texas. I'm gonna give Amarillo somebody else out there um, to play with um, because they're all alone on the island out there in West Texas. So this will be. Another addition, so the, the the divisions and stuff are just a bit confusing right now. We're still trying to we're still trying to figure out some stuff right now. Um, everything's a little bit confusing. Everything's getting you know good and good together, you know. But right now, it's only at um, it's only at a uh, seven teams with CIF and five at NAL. Um, is this a um, I have no idea what what's happening right now uh, with this whole partnership. This partnership is <laughs> making sense at the same time. It doesn't make any sense. Like I said last week, it doesn't make any sense, but it also makes sense. Um, so Odessa's in, and, you know, hopefully there will be some things, some more things coming from the NAL very soon. They, they should have announced some other teams by now. The NAL should. Um, Rather, they should have some other teams ready in place um, to be announced. Um, but yeah, yeah, um, that's pretty much it from the indoor football front. We'll catch up with some college football and, and, and NFL stuff right about now when I get done and get this video uploaded. So, you know, peace from right here, and I'll catch you guys very, very soon the next videos. Big boy out.